Hey, what's up, guys and girls? Hard Drive here at Fine Tune CB. Good morning. You know, I, was, I did an unboxing of this radio. And, you know, that's really like the most accurate way. Most of the time, you don't really have to do it if you trust the people you're dealing with. And I trust this guy, but my issue here is when I show you on the back side of this radio, I let out one of those WTF. And I just don't find that to be appropriate for a YouTube video. Yes, I might have the trashiest mouth you guys have ever heard of on the phone, but eh, not YouTube. Not over the radio. I just can't do it. Alright. This is blah 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 number blah blah. Mark, go through it. Do whatever you need to do. Thanks. Blah 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 blah. I get in there and then hopefully I'm not going to watch the video again. Make sure name's not in there. Alright, good and bad, alright, just good and bad, I'm not sure who did it, it's done, it's not real bad, it's nothing like the mushroom bomb type of thing, but uh, let's take a look at it first, it's power wide open, I can see biasing issues, well, massively, but it's a splatter box, okay? Audio 7, 8, 9, 10, audio 1, 2, the meter looks cool. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, audio. See it? It's a 100 watt plug in there. Pretty sure you can see everything in there pretty good. I do gotta find a better way to put this camera. Now, this is really a pain sometimes. I try to show everything unedited, you know. The smartest thing to do if you really want to keep up on things is that little button down there that says show more, click it, read it. Many are PMing me and telling me it's the Bible now. That's over 30 years of stuff. So it is. Closer to 40, yes. Anyways, uh, no, about 35. It's about right about there is what we got. This is gonna, you know, you adjust the power, power button right here. Elevate this a little bit. You can set that on tape, it won't hurt it. You can see everything now. But everybody pay attention. Some guys say that they lost interest of a video, watched all, halfway through it. Well, if you're into radios, you really are, pay attention. It's not easy to cover like 5,000 people's interest. They're from one extreme to another, and in the middle, if you can relate. Think about that for a second. So, vocabulary, in depth, not in depth, I do try to explain things to the best of or for the audience, okay? So if you have an interest, listen up. Alright. And there's a lot more of the videos. If you turn the power down, you see my hand down there. Now we have something entirely different again. see all kinds of weird shit going on and a lot of splatter a lot but what I see is well that right there in other words if I turn my ranger on I hear the noise and I hear it on other channels adjacent channels just with the carrier just the carrier see it We'll also see it as we modulate it. So the stages aren't linear. Let's go to uh, 30 megahertz. Excuse me. 
Hey, Scott, grinding up that red pepper in the bullet is pretty tasty, man. I'm still tasting it. <laughs> I hope your video comes out good, man, this morning with your antenna on that T6. Imagine it's going to rock. Anyways, let's stop that. See the spurs? Spurs emissions? You guys got amplifiers. Yeah, I got some shit in my own. This is a working bench, not just a video bench. It's a working bench. I'm working on the stuff to get in the way. See all that right there? Ooh, bad voodoo. Bad voodoo. That's way down there in DB, but you put it on, into an amplifier and change the stability of the output. It'll even increase more, plus those will create more. So that's pretty bad. And I'm sure this thing's getting hot, and it is. So, uh, even just a carrier, see it? So, what someone's done more than likely is adjusted the gate voltages or its factory to a specific known voltage. Let's see. Hopefully this thing will last before it detonates. Okay. 3.75. Don't try this at home. Well, hold on. I'll, I'll let you see this. Well, shit. You can't see both now. Let me back out. See, I can't see the camera and do all the shit at the same time. That's the problem. It's behind me. It's 387. And 385. And the, the two that are paired, they're going to be the same. So, it was basically tuned... A number of different ways could be done, you know, for amps and no amps. And the most important with the MOSFETs, it's pretty much like you just seen. If you want the radio not to detonate and keep it clean, it's, it gets difficult. It's a real pain in the ass. You gotta have all the right little gizmos to do it. But where the F-bomb came in is when I got inside of it to see it, I'm like, holy shit. You know? When I seen that and the hot glue, non-conductive pointer. Uh, it's all hot glue. You don't use hot glue. Either design what you're doing intelligently or don't do it just stop doing it because you don't know what you're doing if you got to use hot glue drill holes do all kind of weird shit put lights in them stop doing this shit okay, you got an NPC and I'm sure that people have seen enough of my radios to try to copy and it gets all washed out through the grapevine that they attempt to do various things if you have the ability to use tools like the surface mount, well, you usually won't even see it either. You don't need to do this kind of shit. See, now this customer is going to pay me to fix all this shit now, plus the time to remove the glue. This isn't so bad. I can't really see how it's soldered on there, or it's glued on. It's, it's, it's not really bad. See, I know people are going to see my stuff. I'm going to see, and I've pretty much seen everybody's, coast to coast, that, yeah, I understand customers want different shit. They go here to there, or they have to reconfigure. I understand that. I do. 
but do it in a fashion intelligent. Because the more you piss off the other tech, the more pissed off he's going to be, and the customer's going to pay for it. I'm not even going to check to receive. I'll be in touch with you on the phone about exactly what we want to do because I'm pretty sure if you're not going to run it barefoot, I have to have, I've got to have it, the other device. Otherwise, it's absolutely not possible. It's like trying to mix something round with something square or rectangular. I mean, you can try all you want until something breaks. That's how that works. Hope everybody has a good morning. And be safe out there. Don't forget. By the way, I got a mile or two. I've seen on a page somewhere something about uh, your trainer or when you first started driving. Well, this goes back a long time ago. And it's, I, I say it a lot. And it's still the truth. It takes twice the driver to be a courteous driver. Some might take your kindness for a weakness, but they'll pay later. Stay tuned in. You know who it is.